It's my pleasure to be here to celebrate 60 years of uh, Yang Mills. Uh, I would like to first uh, mention the uh, influence or impact that uh, Professor Yang uh, on my career. Related to uh, the title of uh, my talk, Young Baxter and uh, Young Mills, I would like to mention that, yeah, I first time, you know, listen to Professor Young on Young Mills, and uh, also on Peter Ansatz. It was uh, 1972 when uh, Professor Young uh, visited China and uh, the first time uh, he uh, gave talks in Beijing University. Yeah, the two talks uh, was, uh, were exactly Yang Mills and uh, Peter Ansatz. So after that, uh, <coughs> I began to uh, study Yang Mills and did not have a chance to uh, study uh, Young Baxter or uh, Peter Ansatz. Professor Young uh, invited me uh, to uh, visit uh, Stony Brook in early 80s, 10 years uh, later. So in Stony Brook, uh, I uh, began to learn uh, Peter Ansatz and uh, Young Baxter. <coughs> So, uh, also uh, later, before the, uh, I uh, came to the U.S., Professor Yang uh, had uh, talked to me about uh, whether I should uh, uh, pursue a uh, graduate school in the U.S. or not, because uh, at that time uh, in China, I, uh, I was not a uh, graduate student because of uh, some problem of uh, relatives and so on. So after the Dawn of Four of the, uh, so for the Gang of Four, you know, uh, many young people, quotation mark, young people <laughs> like me began to consider whether uh, we should go to the U.S. Uh, for a uh, degree. I remember that day actually, uh, Professor Young uh, talked to me. His advice is that uh, I should not try to do that. He said that uh, your uh, situation now looks good. You should not. Uh, this time on uh, graduate school examinations and so on. You should try to uh, work on the frontier and so on. So finally, with uh, Professor Yang's advice, I was able to convince uh, my father and relatives that, uh, yeah, I should not uh, uh, go to uh, graduate school. Also, uh, during the uh, cultural Revolution. Almost, uh, uh, Professor Yang came to China almost uh, once a year, at least once a year. So uh, at that time, I got to know about, uh, you know, I don't know from me back, the monopoles and the instant and so on uh, from uh, Yang's uh, lectures uh, at uh, China. So before I came to the U.S., uh, I have begun to be familiar with this uh, topological thing. And uh, after I came to the U.S., you know, the paradigm of the particle physics uh, has just uh, shifted from the uh, uh, Van Berg Salam model and so on to a uh, topological thing. <coughs> so, uh, Indeed, my uh, career has been uh, greatly uh, influenced by uh, Professor Yang. <coughs> Today, uh, I'm going to talk about a uh, recent work uh, 
trying to uh, gauge uh, quantum group, which is, uh, of course, uh, uh, related to a uh, young vector. This uh, is the uh, origin, original purpose of uh, gauge principle, and so on. Everybody, yeah, has known about it, so I will not go through the details. And the important, <coughs> the crucial point is that the gauge symmetry dictates the young mills action. So it dictates the law of interaction. In uh, 1972, uh, Professor Young <coughs> gave a talk about the uh, gauge field. He uh, used the so-called uh, integral uh, formalism which uh, uh, later uh, inspired <coughs> my understanding of uh, uh, gauge fields and the uh, relevant uh, work. Young's paper, this paper of uh, Young's published in uh, 1974 was the talk uh, given in Beijing University uh, was in uh, 1972. So uh, let me uh, shift to the uh, young vector equation. This is uh, Young's uh, original paper about the uh, young vector equation. He uh, exactly solved the uh, many fermion uh, system with uh, delta function uh, interaction. And uh, he pointed out that uh, this problem uh, is exactly solvable because of the uh, young vector equation holds true in this case. So people realize that uh, young vector equation actually is a uh, key thing to uh, one dimensional exactly. Uh, soluble uh, models. And uh, the key point is that uh, it uh, involves uh, uh, six uh, matrices. Essentially, it's uh, A, B, A, and uh, B, A, B. Many uh, mathematical uh, structures actually are related to uh, Young vector equation. For example, R teams are braid uh, uh, group in which uh, he presents the so called braid relation, uh, which is a special case of the quantum young vector, with uh, the spectral parameter uh, all set to one or, or all set to zero. <coughs> Later, uh, Jung's polynomial for knots and uh, links. This breakthrough actually uh, starts from a new braid group representation in addition to the uh, von Neumann uh, algebra. Witten's uh, uh, transcends uh, theory of topological quantum field uh, theory actually is also closely related to uh, young vector equation. My uh, personal uh, work in in 1984, on a braid group as the uh, general group responsible for quantum statistics <coughs> of uh, anions uh, in 2D, actually, yeah, uh, it's also related to a uh, young vector uh, equation. The uh, relationship uh, relations satisfied by the generators of a uh, group, there are two classes. The first class uh, is almost trivial because uh, sigma i, sigma j, x on different Hilbert space, so they commute. And the highly non-trivial one is uh, young vector equation of braid relation for three anions. For <coughs> anions are uh, p 
give a, a, a many textbook. People only uh, discuss about uh, you know uh, exchanging two particles. Actually, the essence of the red group is this uh, young Bachelor equation uh, related to uh, three anions. Later, in uh, you know the uh, from the young Bachelor equation, new mathematical structures <coughs> are uh, <coughs> developed. So the first important thing, of course, is the quantum method of uh, uh, inverse uh, scattering uh, established by. Uh, Badiev's uh, St. Petersburg uh, School in the uh, 70s. Later, Greenfield, after uh, June's work, uh, proposed the so quantum groups of half, half algebra, uh, starting from the uh, Young Pastor uh, equation. Finally, uh, in early 90s, uh, the So for the braided tensor category uh, is uh, introduced. Later, we'll see that the so-called taxon axiom for the braided tensor category actually uh, is equivalent to uh, the uh, Baxter uh, equation. So uh, this is the uh, Original uh, paper of uh, Greenfield in '86 on quantum groups. So, uh, in his abstract, he emphasized uh, uh, the importance of the solutions of the Young Baxter quantum uh, identity. A proper uh, mathematical setting is a, a half algebra, but however, uh, for physics, uh, we would like to use the quantum group. The original title of uh, Greenfield is also uh, quantum groups. The meaning of uh, uh, quantum here means uh, deformation. We know that <coughs> quantum mechanics uh, can be viewed as a deformation of classical mechanics. Namely, we introduce uh, a, a new parameter. Then, uh, in a special limit of that uh, new parameter, for example, the Planck constant, the quantum mechanics uh, returns to classic mechanics. So here, uh, quantum group uh, means a deformation of the ordinary uh, Lie groups. In addition uh, to the uh, quantum groups, uh, Greenfield also uh, consider <coughs> something called uh, Yangjin. Quantum groups uh, are related to uh, solutions of uh, trigonometric uh, Young Bachelor equation, where Yangjin, uh, Yangjins are related to rational uh, solution of uh, uh, rational Young Bachelor uh, equation. A uh, well-known challenge, uh, which uh, uh, still stands at the present, is uh, what uh, will be the counterpart of uh, quantum groups and the Yangjin uh, for the uh, elliptic uh, solution of uh, elliptic uh, vector equation. This is a very hard problem. Okay, <clears throat> so you can see that, yeah, uh, Greenfield uh, particularly uh, named uh, a new mathematical object, uh, Yang Yin, after yeah, Yang's name. <clears throat> Which, uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, what uh, uh, is closely related to uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, so the taxon 
uh, action uh, in yes, so the three different uh, categories. Uh, so you can see in this diagram, okay, there is a taxon. So essentially, the taxon uh, action uh, tell us that uh, we should have uh, uh, the uh, associativity for a tensor product in a very tensor category. Later, I will mention why uh, this is uh, important. So uh, I uh, thought about uh, you know gauging a quantum group uh, for uh, quite uh, some time. The challenge for gauging a quantum group is the following. Uh, because uh, we know that the infinitesimal uh, generators of Lie group form a finite dimensional Lie algebra. This is the uh, uh, fundamental reason uh, why uh, it's not too hard to gauge uh, a uh, Lie group because uh, Simply, we can use infinitesimal generators. We can use the Lie uh, algebra, which is finite-dimensional. Uh, however, quantum groups uh, do not have such simple discretion. Uh, the generators of uh, quantum groups form uh, infinite-dimensional uh, enveloping uh, algebra. So the usual way of uh, Gauging quantum group actually does not work. For example, let us uh, consider quantum group uh, SU2. Uh, it's associated with uh, a deformation parameter Q. Q, in general, can be a, a complex number. We know that uh, uh, SU2 actually uh, has three uh, generators. In the usual uh, SU2, these uh, three generators satisfy some <coughs> uh, Lie algebra. But however, when Q is not equal to one, we can see that uh, you know this uh, relation is not in the form of uh, Lie algebra. Therefore, when we consider infinitesimal uh, generators, we need to consider all possible powers of uh, these uh, generators. So this is uh, why it's not easy to uh, <coughs> gauge it. However, <coughs> this uh, problem uh, can be overcome by using a uh, representation rather than a uh, group of elements or infinitesimal generators. The <coughs> key point is that uh, there is a duality between group elements and the representation. A well-known example is the usual uh, Ewen group, Fourier transform. Ei theta represents the group elements. Uh, <coughs> then for a periodic uh, function, we can Expand it uh, into the modes of E i and theta. E i and theta here are n integers actually label the representations. So, free transform actually uh, give us a duality between uh, group elements and uh, representations. Especially, we have the so called uh, Peter Weil theorem to formulate uh, this duality uh, precisely. More generally, uh, one has the so-called tanaka crane duality, namely, essentially, one can recover a group for its uh, finite dimensional unitary representation using category theory language. So uh, this uh, Lead us to consider the so called uh, fusion category. Namely, we consider all finite uh, 
dimensional uh, representations of a finite group or a Lie group. This uh, collection mathematically form a uh, fusion uh, category. And uh, the basic uh, operation on these representations is the uh, sort of direct sum decomposition of uh, tensor products of two irreducible representations. Okay, representation E with uh, I tensor J can be decomposed uh, into uh, a sum of K with some uh, integer coefficients. Here, we consider the particular case that uh, we call the multi multiplicity free case, namely uh, all uh, these uh, fusion coefficients are either zero or one, so we call the delta I J K. Then we need to know the dimension of each usual uh, stable representation D I. Another thing is the so-called uh, 6J uh, symbols or the car coefficients. Namely, when we want to uh, consider tensor product J1, J2, J3, we can either first tensor product J1, J2, or we can first couple uh, J2, J3, then J1. So there should be a unitary uh, transformation from uh, this set of bases to uh, this set of bases. It's called CJ symbol. For ordinary group representations, uh, when we exchange at J uh, to I, the result is uh, usually symmetric or anti-symmetric. Sorry, here, uh, this was wrong. For group case, uh, O, D, I are uh, integers. However, for quantum groups, uh, quantum dimension of each irreducible representation could be non-integer or even uh, non-rational. The uh, quantum group has the uh, fusion category representations with a finite number of uh, representations with uh, zero quantum dimension. Actually, this is uh, uh, a big one, big advantage to work with uh, uh, representation category or fusion category. So again, uh, for Fusion algebra is uh, similar to the group case, but the uh, quantum dimension may be non-integer or non-rational. Six J symbols also exist uh, in the literature for the quantum group case. It's the Kaufman recoupling coefficient. Also, when we uh, exchange uh, J i to get J tensor i. Then the breeding matrix or the young Baxter equation enters, which are part of the data to so, uh, gauge a quantum group. So the basic idea is, uh, for example, in the simplest case, we consider three uh, <coughs> three uh, valent uh, graphs. Then we put the uh, irreducible representations uh, on the link. When we change the direction of the link, we uh, change the representation to the conjugate representation. Then uh, we can write down a Hamiltonian in terms of, uh, you know, the delta J1, J2, J3 functions also in terms of uh, 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 6J symbols. Namely, we can uh, write down Hamiltonian, which consists of uh, uh, two terms, <coughs> Q term uh, at the vertices and the B term at each uh, uh, 
by cat. And uh, the Q term actually imposes uh, Gauss's law because uh, only when J1, J2 tensor, we get uh, J3, then uh, this uh, x value is uh, non zero. So that means uh, we don't have any charge at the vortex. And uh, the BP operator involving the uh, sigma symbols actually just uh, measuring the holonomy of the uh, plaquette. This uh, theory has uh, the uh, topological uh, symmetry uh, in the uh, absence uh, of uh, excitations. Namely, we can change part of the graph from this to that. Or for a vortex, we, <coughs> vortex, we can change this to this. Or we have this, we can shrink it to uh, zero. These uh, moves on the graphs called the Pachino moves. We work out the uh, unitary transformation, the, this coefficient, in terms of the uh, CFJ uh, symbol. So the theory is a topological quantum field uh, theory. A, uh, Simple example for the non-abelian case is so-called the Fibonacci uh, category. It has uh, uh, only one non-trivial uh, irreducible representation, which has uh, quantum dimension of this and the topological spin or twist uh, to fix. And uh, the fusion rule is uh, just tau, tensor tau equal to one plus tau. Then, when we try to uh, compute uh, the uh, dimension of the Hilbert space for n tau, you can see that uh, the uh, dimension of Hilbert space actually gives us uh, the Fibonacci series. And uh, this uh, uh, fusion category actually is a truncation of the elusive representations of uh, SU2 at uh, uh, level three. This uh, uh, gives us uh, uh, the data, delta IJK value, and also <laughs> CFA symbol. Spectrum can be exactly solved, except the ground state the excitations do not exhibit the uh, electric magnetic duality. So, we know that uh, something is uh, missing. So uh, this uh, spring, uh, my grad, former grad student and postdoc, postdoc Yuping Hu, and the mathematician in Utah State, we extend the Hilbert space of a lone one model and uh, modify its uh, uh, QV and the BP term by explicitly introduce a tail uh, on the graph, which actually uh, explicitly label the degree of freedom of uh, charge excitation at the uh, vertices. And uh, also, uh, we have uh, found that uh, introducing the so the young Baxter R matrix for exchanging uh, idea actually leads to a uh, uh, greater simplification of uh, many computations. Summary of uh, our major re result uh, is the following. We have obtained the full uh, Dion excitation uh, spectrum, which uh, uh, do not exist in uh, Lovewen's uh, companion. Uh, the Dion states have uh, three quantum numbers. These three quantum numbers actually are classified by the so-called so quantum dot. Using the category language, it's the center of the input fusion category. And the excitation spectrum exhibits explicit uh, electric magnetic duality. 
we have uh, also established an operator formally for dealing with slack citation. For example, the number operators, the hopping operators, uh, good quantum number operators, and so on. Uh, where the input category is related to a finite group, we reproduce the result of KDF's uh, torus code, which is known to be usual gauge theory in the sense that uh, uh, it's the group uh, elements which are uh, put on the link. So we can claim that uh, because of uh, this result, our approach for the finite group case just uh, agree with the uh, usual gauge theory. So we can claim that uh, for the quantum group case, we have uh, a generalization of the uh, uh, gauge theory of uh, quantum groups. Uh, Fibonacci uh, case is very interesting because uh, uh, Fibonacci uh, anions uh, may be used to do uh, the so-called topological uh, quantum computation, which is uh, universal. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh, a uh, good question. This uh, model respects the time reversal invariants, so it's not chiral in this sense. But however, recently we found that uh, uh, it's possible to separate out the uh, chiral sectors, similar to the uh, you know, uh, conformal field theory case, in which uh, we have the uh, right moving and uh, left uh, moving thing. <laughs> Naively, I, uh, I was thinking that gauging is just coming from finite group to ga uh, to loop group, so to introduce parameter x or lambda or whatever. But you have another interpretation of this uh, term. You you are still in finite dimensional groups, yeah, not right. finite dimensional. So uh, if uh, you want to get the gauging of uh, lead groups, perhaps uh, you should consider the limit in which the level k tends to infinity. So gauging in the sense that uh, the, uh, as the vertices, actually the charge conservation, local charge conservation is uh, 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 imposed. Also, uh, we have the BP operator, which uh, measures the uh, so-called holonomy. In view of the time, we have one last <laughs> <laughs> uh, How is this uh, electric and magnetic uh, duality is realized in your model? Yeah, I have uh, no time to, uh, yeah, to go to the detail. Essentially, it's a transformation from vertex to a plaquette and plaquettes to uh, vertices. From the point of view of uh, lattice, we consider three valent uh, graphs. Then we can consider so called the dual graph. So it's like a Poincare yeah, duality. Then we get a triangulation. So okay. it's Poincare duality. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. So this uh, we will uh, realize the electromagnetic duality. Yeah.